So I wanna make a quick note before we get into today's video. I am going to be putting out a video later today. You'll probably see it right after this one by the time that this video is up, but you need to have an invite for the 2022 Nationals this year. Konami made it sound like it's just open to all duelists. That is not the case. You need to have an invite from the 2020 to 2022 regional season. So I will be making a video on that later today, but for now, let's dive into why I love dropping my pants and taking a massive dump on Master Duel. So let's dive right into it, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button. I want you to Colossal Titan smash it, Jujitsu Kaisen Black Fist, was it Black Fist? Whatever it was, Purple Fist, whatever, Red Technique, Purple Hollow Technique, destroy that subscribe and like button and the bell as well so that we can get to 800 and eventually 1,001 subscribers. I got to keep you on your toes. I'm not always just going to say 1,000. So first of all, this Master Duel video that I made about why it's dead has suddenly blown up. Like it had like 50 views and all of a sudden now it's at over 300. So clearly dumping on Master Duel is a great way to get views for the channel because now we're at 725, which is funny. But um, I wanted to talk about a comment that someone made, which and it, it was a very fair point um, because it was something that I haven't really discussed on the channel. And this comes from Travis Burr, shout out to him. You know, I'm not hating on this guy. It's a, it's a very good comment. So I, I wanna give him a shout out for it. And his comment says the following. Like, obviously, Master Duel deserves criticism, but for a guy who is, like, just playing Dueling Book, EDO Pro, or IRL, like, why does Master Duel burn you up so much? Clickbaited into Master Duel being dead, but so many issues mentioned are very fixable, and if they're fixed, people would play. So, first of all, let's talk about the clickbait issue. Um, you got to understand, from a content creator's standpoint, I am a very small channel compared to many other channels. I have to make my titles in such a way to where it's not just a total lie, right? Like, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 early gameplay, and I'm talking about shitting on Master Duel, you know what I mean? Um, at the same time, I also need to make it enticing with an enticing thumbnail. Um, and in my opinion, Master Duel is dead. The player numbers have dropped off a lot. If you look at like the Steam charts and graphs and things like that that many people have talked about at this point, you will know that the player count has really, really dropped off as of late. And one could make the argument that the game is pretty dead, especially since its first ban list didn't even ban any cards. It just kind of touched some things here and there. And Konami still, since the game has been out, has not made any big game changes like adding in a match mode, adding in OCG balance and TCG balance mode, and separating those things. It's just best of one, single games, Master Duel ban list, take it or leave it. And now when it comes to the point of talking about Dueling Book, EDO Pro, and all that stuff, again, those systems are strictly better. When you look at something like Dueling Book, you not only have access to all the cards from the start, so you don't have to dismantle cards or buy gems to buy digital cards, or as I jokingly call them, NFTs, because that's kind of what they are, really. Um, you know, you have access to all those cards. And Dueling Book takes it a step further. It lets you play with cards that are currently in the OCG, like Mr. Runes, for example. You can test with cards that are not yet here in the TCG. They also went a step even further than that and put in custom cards. So if you want to play with, like, let's say Darts' deck from the anime and use, like, all of his Ori Kalko's cards and the Mirror Knights and things like that, you can do that. Uh, if you want to play GOAT format, then you can make your settings whenever you're editing your deck to be like GOAT format, and then you just have the card pool that was available in GOAT format. You don't have to try and guess like, okay, you know, what was was Necrogardner in GOAT format? No, 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 uh, that wasn't in there. Was Ecclesia in GOAT format? No, 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 it wasn't. So you have to you you have to guess at that point like what it is you're doing whereas dueling book just gives it all to you they give you a great ranking system you can you know customize your sleeves once you get enough wins you can customize your avatar picture once you get enough wins um sure you can donate and get other perks and things like that but konami isn't offering any of this in something that they advertise as a official simulator but yet you made it a best of one how can you call it an official simulator when you're doing best of one, when in the real game, you do matches. Unless you're in the OCG, then if you wanna to go to like the YCS in Japan, 
you have to like win a raffle on over there and then it's best of one like it's it's really really weird really weird and it's the ocg is in a whole nother animal than we are here in the tcg so first of all i'm sorry that you feel like i clickbaited you second of all I am going to shit on Master Duel because one, it's it's free content, it's easy views. Like I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit about that. It's just easy views. If I want to grow my channel and eventually get to a thousand subs, I need to talk about things that are going to get views and things that I personally enjoy talking about. And personally, I enjoy talking about Master Duel because it's just a train wreck. You know, look at someone like Blame Truth in the Call of Duty community. Blame Truth shits on Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty in general in pretty much every single video. His audience likes that. He gets, you know, 20,000 plus views every video. It's popular to shit on COD. It's popular to shit on Master Duel. In an age right now, for lack of a better term, where people like DZ and Team Samurai who have sponsorships by Konami, so they want Master Duel to do well, they're going to post these videos. Oh, Volcanic Sacred Beast is a tier zero deck, blah, 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 blah. And they don't put Master Duel in the title. And then you click on it because, of course, it sounds cool. Volcanic Sacred Beast. What is that? Is that like running the Brave Engine? You know, whatever. No, it's a dog shit Master Duel video. So in my defense, at the same time of being clickbaity, again, I do truly apologize that you feel that way. At the same time, if someone like DZ and Team Samurai are allowed to do that, I should be allowed to do it. Or they should be held to the same uh, accountability and not just me. So we should go to DZ's channel and Team Samurai's channel and say, hey, you didn't put Master Duel in the title. This is clickbait because let's be honest, it is. I don't blame him for being on the grind, but I, number one, I can't listen to Team Sam because he's too fucking loud. He needs to like, he needs to, he needs to smoke some good good, if you know what I mean, and calm the fuck down. DZ, it just, he'll just talk normally and like he doesn't bitch and complain about something because he doesn't want to lose his sponsorship with Konami. That's my humble opinion. That's as someone who doesn't have any skin in the game. I don't blame them for being on the grind. They're making good money off YouTube, I'm sure. Good on them. As for me, I don't have no skin in the game. Even when I hit a thousand subs, I may start putting ads on my videos, but even then I don't give a shit. It's not going to be my bread and butter. I do this shit for fun. So again, as long as the game has been out, you would think that Konami would say, hey, we hear your feedback. This is what we're implementing, right? And you can't say, well, it must be basically impossible to do. No, it shouldn't be. Because in the last World Championship game on the DS, I know I keep referencing those, but there's a reason why. And I'm going to explain that. The 2011 DS game, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship over the Nexus, had a match mode had an online mode. You could pick different ban lists because at the time, before the Wi-Fi network, Nintendo had shut it down, you could connect to the Wi-Fi and you could download the different ban lists that were in the IRL Yu-Gi-Oh game at the time. So for example, um, in 2011, I have the I have like one of the 2010, 2010? <laughs> 2010 ban lists I have the 2011 ban list. I think I even have like a 2012 ban list. Like I have several different ban lists on there that I could lock into that ban list and play in that format on the Wi-Fi connection. Or if I wanted to play the current format, I put in the current ban list and I could go on the Wi-Fi connection and play either singles or matches against people over the Wi-Fi connection on the DS. So if Konami had that technology in place for the fucking DS, a handheld that is very much out of date now, why can they not implement a match mode into a game that is not only on the next-gen consoles, the PS5 Series X, and also PC, but Switch, mobile, uh, your toaster, your smart fridge, like it's on everything. It's like Skyrim, right? So how do they not have the ability to implement this when they were able to do something like this on a handheld console in 2011? It doesn't make any sense to me. Now, obviously, the graphics and all that aren't going to be as good on a DS compared to like a PS5, right? But it's the fact that the gameplay was still there and the animations for boss monsters were better, as I showed in my original Master Duel video. I'd rather have something like that that you could just turn on or off in Master Duel. Like, just give people the option. There's nothing wrong with giving people more options. And how do we know that like in, let's say, six months from now, after they've kind of ironed out things, still don't have a match mode in, I'm sure, that all of a sudden they start putting in DLC packs that you gotta pay for. Then what? It's gonna be Legacy of the Duels where you have 20 different DLC packs? Who the fuck's gonna wanna do that? Oh, but then you still have to buy gems so that you can, you know, get your in-game currency and buy all the shit that you want. 
nah, man. I would rather just have access to all the cards from the start. If I want to have a ranking system, you can have dueling nexus and dueling book that are rank that have ranking systems. Dueling book, you actually have to talk back with your opponent. So if you don't want to do that, then you can do dueling nexus or EDO Pro. Dueling book, I will say, as much as I don't like that system of having to talk to my opponent, because I already have to do that enough at, in an IRL event. That is the best possible simulator for experiencing what IRL Yu-Gi-Oh is like. So guys, please let me know what you think about this video. Um, th this is just my humble opinion. You know, uh, I enjoy crapping on Master Duel. I enjoy making retrospectives. There's a lot of content I enjoy making. And it's something that no other Yugi tuber like MCOL40, DZ, Team Samurai, TGS Anime is doing. They're all, oh, it's so amazing. No, it's not especially if you're like me that has experienced better games and free-to-play non-official simulators are far and above better, especially when Konami says it's an official simulator. It's an official OCG simulator. Anyway, I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.